Building a budget gaming PC under £500 isn't always easy, but in this video I'm going to be showing you a £405 budget RTX gaming PC that actually delivers great price to performance. Let's get on with the video. To kick things off we're using the Ryzen 5 5600 and we're pairing it with this budget A520M board. Lately I've had a lot of issues with the machinist and the cheap B450 boards from AliExpress so I'm kind of shying away from using them as much as they just cause me a headache. We're also using 16GB of Corsa Vengeance DDR4 clocked at 3600MHz. For storage we're using the Crucial P3 Plus as we often can get these quite cheap on AliExpress. I know it's a Gen 4 SSD but at this price it makes sense to just go for whatever drive is the best. And for the CPU cooler we're using the Thermalrite Assassin X120R SE Plus as this was really cheap and for a dual fan CPU cooler it would do an amazing job for the Ryzen 5 5600. And for the case we're using the Montec Air 100 ARGB, coming in at under £50 with 4 pre-installed ARGB fans, this is honestly a pretty good case, it doesn't look too cheap, the side panel has a little handle so you can open and close the glass panel, and honestly at this price point I don't think it gets much better than this case, I honestly recommend this case if you're wanting to build a cheap PC of your own. And for the power supply we're using the MSI Mag A650BN As some of you will know we've used this quite a lot on the channel and honestly the reason for this is for its price it's great performance and being under £50 it's really a no brainer. It's an 80 plus bronze unit which is capable enough for many graphics cards. It comes with two PCIe connectors which makes it a great addition for this PC. For the graphics card we're using the RTX 2070 Super which we picked up off eBay. Now I did have issues with temps and I reached out to the seller and let them know that you didn't mention this and I'm going to have to repaste the card. They issued a £10 refund and to repaste the card it only cost me well under a pound so we saved a bit of money by this. But there was one other issue with this graphics card and we'll talk about that in a moment. And honestly for its price it actually will kick ass at 1080p gaming. Now the other issue I was talking about was coil wine. Yes, unfortunately this card has quite bad coil wine and what annoys me is I think the sellers should explain this or say this in the description. I know the woman was selling it for her son but her son should provide her with all the information regarding temps and any kind of issues with the card. I know coil wine isn't actually an issue and it won't degrade the card or won't cause any issues but it just is annoying, it just sounds annoying and it only really seems to happen when we're under full load and in firm mark it didn't actually happen but in valley benchmark it did happen. I also tested this card after replacing it in my main PC for about 3 days and even when playing Fortnite there was some noticeable coil wine. I think if you've got a headset on it won't matter but if you're sat there listening to the PC it's probably going to annoy you. I'm hoping this isn't going to affect me selling the PC too much, however I will make sure to put in the description that the GPU does have coil wine just so no one tries to return it as faulty. Anyway with that all said let's go ahead and test this PC in some games. 
Now I'm not actually going to talk about every individual game, I'll let the benchmarks run and you can see the stats on the top left of the screen anyway, but we tested Counter Strike, Plague Tale Requiem, GTA 5 Enhanced, Cyberpunk 2077 and Forza Horizon 5. Now I was recording with an external PC with a capture card so there shouldn't be any performance loss but unfortunately the game audio did duplicate itself so I have just turned it down a lot so you can't really hear the game. But overall I've got zero complaints about this PC running any of the games we tested. I would normally test a few other games like Fortnite and Marvel Rivals but they all needed updates and I didn't have hours to wait. Now when you take into consideration that this PC only costs £405, this honestly packs a real good punch. The price to performance of this PC is actually amazing. If you're looking to play esports titles or even some newer games at obviously slightly lower settings, you will still be able to achieve over 60 FPS and have a very smooth experience. And with the RTX 2070 having access to things like DLSS it means that you can boost your frame rate in them games that are a bit more intensive or a bit more demanding. But this PC is quite easy to replicate. I'll be honest, I don't feel like I ever get the most insane deals when it comes to PC parts. I kind of just go by the average price and make sure I don't spend more than that, at least the average price in my area. In the UK, PC flipping can be hit or miss. Sometimes you think you've built a crazy PC for a low price and it'll sit there for weeks and you end up having to sell it for maybe only £60 profit. When you look at other YouTubers, especially the guys in America that flip PCs like Elijah's Lab, they often make huge amounts of profit on each PC flip and honestly, for most people, that is not realistic. If you are just building PCs to make a ton of money and you don't even enjoy it or don't enjoy the process of building PCs, I would say you're wasting your time. When it comes to PC flipping, you need to be able to enjoy it and obviously the benefits are that you will make a bit of money. The better deals you have in your area and the quicker you can nab up deals before other people can, obviously you can then build PCs for cheaper and sell them for more as well. But alternatively, even if you're not into PC flipping or don't want to sell for profit, you can definitely build some great budget systems nowadays. With the 20 series and even 30 series dropping in price since the 50 series released, there's definitely a lot of options when it comes to the graphics cards and CPUs you can choose. Now I always use the Ryzen 5 5600, why? Because it's just that much better in CPU intensive games compared to the Ryzen 5 5500 and the 3600. So when I can pick these up off AliExpress for around £60, it's really a no brainer. I really do recommend using AliExpress when it comes to getting cheap CPU deals. Obviously the more higher end CPUs it's pointless getting off AliExpress due to import fees and different things like that and I know that if you live in America as well you may have to pay different taxes and stuff that I don't have to myself but overall I am extremely happy with this PC and I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think of this PC. For £405 we've got a PC that can get high frame rates in esports titles and deliver a very solid FPS in more demanding games as well. If you flip PCs as well, let me know in the comments which was your most recent flip and the profit you made on the PC. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all in the next one.